Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Civilization V Reds. Let's go ahead and click that next turn and see what the future has in store for us. For us. As I stumble around my intro. That is not good. Not professional. And also apologies if you happen to hear the car alarm going on outside. That's, you know, such is life. The neighborhood I live in isn't exactly uh, ritzy, let's say. So, yeah. That could explain... <laughs> Some of the strange noises that get picked up by my microphone every now and again. Why? I didn't... I didn't want you to move. I was right-clicking to get rid of those things. Didn't want you to move at all. Next turn. <laughs> We're off to a rip-roaring start today, aren't we? Uh, so what's going on? I just, I, today was kind of a weird day, and this is, this episode's gonna get a little vloggy, I guess, uh, just without a webcam of me, so, make that what you will. Uh, strangest thing happened. I had a Hootie and the Blowfish song, song stuck in my head from the moment I woke up. It's, it's even in there now, right now. Uh, let her cry if you're interested, you know. If you want to go check it out, or if you know it. Uh, it's a pretty old song. I haven't heard it in well over a decade. And it woke up stuck in my head. And it's been stuck in my head since. 75 gold? Boo, yeah, we got that. Pikeman, deal with it. Um, so yeah, it's it's weird. Like, And I've pretty much just been listening to that song when it comes to music all day. That's still stuck. I don't know what to do. So, I mean, you know, it's a strange request coming from me, but if any of you have experience with songs that get stuck in your head and are impossible to remove, give me some tips. Uh, once in university, I had the hamster dance song stuck in my head for a week and a half. Like, from morning when I got up to when I went to bed. In, in the background of my head, like, I would still have thoughts and stuff and I'd still be able to function. But in the background, continuously, would just be... It was really annoying. And I'm hoping that Hootie, Hootie and his blowfish, I'm hoping leave tonight. Because I've been crying. I've even sung it. I sung it and recorded it and realized, holy crap, I'm a pretty bad singer. Even though I love the, I love the karaoke, I feel bad for anybody who listens to me do karaoke now. Anyway, <laughs> no, that's enough of my crazy life. Um, let's keep doing what we're doing, shall we? So, uh, Venice has built the Globe Theater. I'm really thinking, uh, if we want to go culture, which we do, uh, we don't, you know, that's kind of where we want to go. We're sitting in, like, second place. Granted, so are the Mines and the Ottomans. But Venice is sitting at 10. First place. With 10. So if we capture them, that's 14. Which is, you know, that's bueno. Right? Like, that is, we'll return the unit to Venice. Ooh. Yeah, we'll return the unit. I, well, you know, I don't know if this would really be considered a historic event, but maybe it would be. I don't know, 1570? People could write about it. Uh, but yeah, the, the more this game progresses, the more I think taking on Venice probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, can we still move you? Okay, well, you kind of screwed me over there, but uh, I digress. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we'll work together. Thankfully, the friendship decree won't um, won't last forever, <clears throat> unlike previous incarnations of this game, or I guess the original incarnation of this game. And really, the more wonders Venice builds, the better it is for us when we eventually somehow manage to capture them. I'm not quite sure how yet, but I'll figure out a way. I'm cunning and crafty. It's a very interesting route. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, I guess, yeah, either way we would have had to turn, wouldn't we? Uh, we could just keep farming. That is going to be a major defeat, so no, we couldn't. <clears throat> we'll stick to the cover, and if we wanted to, we could just theoretically keep farming uh, relations with Venice, but I'm not about to do that. Felonque, 14, I like the looks of that. Yeah. All right. What are we going to build in you, Leon? 
feel like a workshop would be a good thing to build. Well, I second guess myself. I think a water mill would be a good thing to build because we haven't built one in Lyon yet. And getting power to Leon is going to be good. Orleans is finally looking like it might be growing a little bit. Uh, I would certainly love for those things to expand so we could get things. And um, in the comments, Orko, as usual, uh, came out with a little suggestion of my atrocious road building. And yes, yes, I agree. It is pretty bad. Yay! Um... And I definitely do want to fix it up. Get out of there. <laughs> so maybe we should do that. It looks like we got our first chateau done. So that's pretty exciting. We're going to be getting two what's-its from that. So yeah, head up here. I just, I'm going to do a little bit of counting. So bear with me. One, obviously, to get out of Paris. And then we can go two, three, four. And this is one, two, three, four, five. So we could save a little bit. If we made the road just go straight, well, as straight as you can get hexes going, and um, yeah, we could just demolish this road, which I'm I'm okay with. So really, you're not the worker I need to do this. You're the worker I need to do this. Yeah, and Troye is growing, but it's got no production because they don't want hills. Get the hills, people, so we can get mines going. This is just as much my own fault as theirs. Um, but, I mean, so here's... Well, no, you know what? The road's been done. I can understand the abstraction. I just... I still like being able to connect, like, Troyer to Tours. Or that would be good. You know? Just, just a ring road. That's all I want, is to just be able to have all my cities connected. We're done. Research agreements. Our poor, poor scientists need it. And Japan has just snuck ahead of us. And what do we get? Japan has founded Shinto and Judaism. So I think there's still one left. We're not going to get it. I'm okay with that. I've, I've come to accept it. The French are Buddhist. We've been Buddhist forever. This is fine. We don't, we don't need to worry about anything like that. Okay, so you... Uh, you're going to start building a road. And I've got to do this manually, which is what kind of bothers me. Because, you see, what I don't want to do is disconnect. Like, I don't want to demolish this road before the new bypass is built, I guess, would be basically what we're doing. <clears throat> okay, Paris, what are you going to build? I'm actually just going to get you to build a castle. We could use the defenses. And there's our land route into... Wow. <clears throat> They've got a very good defensive position. That is for sure. Really, nothing nothing going on up there, huh? That is interesting. And still nothing going on down here. Which I'm thinking would be a good idea. Uh, also, if you notice, like, hiccuping going on, I have a feeling that's just from all the coffee I drank today, so I'm still a little amped up. I need it to get through a day in the office, man. See, and all, I can, all that's going through my head right now is just that stupid freaking song. And I'm certainly not going to sing it. Because it sounds horrible when I sing it. Eight, 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 ten. No, no trade with Japan. All right, we'll go back to Kanye. There we go. Boom, boom, next turn. So once we get this road built, we can demolish this and save a bit of money. Obviously not the last bit of road there. That's got to stay. And, um, we got to get Troy A up, or Tour up. Troy A is, well, Troy A needs work, too. There's a lot of work that needs to be done still. 
Oh, a great writer. Excellent. Okay. Um, hmm. Old fashioned axe men, eh? Head on up. There we go. The road is there. And you are going to create a great work, my friend. There is no man, however wise, who has not at some point in his youth said things or lived a life, the memory of which is so unpleasant to him that he would gladly expunge it. And yet he ought not entirely regret it, because he cannot be certain that he has indeed become a wise man. That's some deep, deep thinking right there. And again, French author, which is just wonderful. I like it when the cultures match up like that. Uh, what do we need here? Happiness. Yeah. We're sitting at positive happiness, which is great. I'm happy for that. Uh, okay, tours connected and the great person, which is fine. So we're rocking six now, which should put us in second place, and it does. So suck on that, world. But to actually compete with Venice, that's going to be incredibly difficult because Venice is, like, set up to do this. They're set up to be cultural. Granted, so are the French, but it's a little bit different kind of culture that the French are set up to do. And we got some truffles over there, so the, we could potentially get two chateaus up in that location. Uh, we could get a chateau going there and move that farm someplace else. That's something to consider, too. Buenos Aires under attack? No, 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 no. Who's attacking you? Probably the evils. Uh, each city you found will increase. Yeah, we'll go with that now. We're pretty far off from a golden age, but having one of those would not be a bad thing. We'll be able to get lots of money. And we may select a free great person. And this is always the trick, isn't it? We could go with a free great artist, because we've got a spot for him in our palace. So let's do that. Uh, great artist. Create a great work. Oh, look at the little puppy. Look at the little puppy. That's a horrible move, though. Like... Don't you guys have a friend with a wagon? Can we? Oh, we can, because we're friends with Venice. That's right. Finish your road. Uh, and you, I guess, can come over here. Okay. Uh, Lyon. What are we going to build in Lyon? Probably a workshop. Well, we got the water mill up. We do uh, more production. University. It was difficult to mull that one over, but I think I made the right decision. Even if I didn't, I'm going to tell myself I made the right decision because that's just what I do. I always make the right decision. <laughs> All right, banking. Yeah, we're in the Renaissance. I mean, barely, but we're there. We can't, you know, load people onto ships. But we're in the Renaissance. Uh, and obviously, we're well behind in pretty much everything Renaissance-ish. Except for banking, which is good, because really our economy needs it. I think next up, though, we're going to go with the Musketeer. Because they are our unique unit. Uh, unfortunately, and I haven't been able to gauge accurately yet, and I won't be able to gauge accurately until a couple of games. Certainly not just after one. But I can't really tell if... How long is that going to take you? Like that, because you should be done soon. It should take time to remove a road, but it doesn't look like it does. That's okay, though, because then we'll be able to get rid of more roads, which is handy.
And to be fair, this is this is a first for me and Civ. I've always left the infrastructure alone, which doesn't really make sense. Yes, yes, yes. It looks like we really needed that trade. Oh well. We'll fix it. Um Let's get an, an idea what's going on in Venice, and it is really looking like a juicy city that would be quite lovely to have as French. And once we get a better idea of the armed forces, no. You had your chance, Japan, and you ruined it. We will never be friends. I hold a grudge. For thousands of years. Which, admittedly, is one of my complaints about Civ in general. But yay, our trade is rebuilt. That is a wonderful thing. So let's get rid of you. And with that done, can we get down here quick enough? No, we cannot. Well, lessons learned. You could probably put a chateau there, though. Hmm, that's something to consider. There and there, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how many chateaus we decide to put. There's definitely one that can go there, though. Have we got another trade route opened up that we can use? So I would imagine Lyon there is going to have to get another camel, which is fine. Losing grasp on Buenos Aires. That'll change. I'm not concerned. We're going to complete the sea route eventually. Um, and I guess really we could... I really should be mobilizing my forces here to help them out. I've got a strong enough military. I don't think Japan is going to be causing me any grief. It would be great if I could set sail. That might have to happen soon. Um, that will have to happen soon. At least we know the barbarians aren't building any sail ships on this lake. So, yeah, we'll work out production first here. Uh, definitely a bank. I don't, I don't see why we wouldn't go with the bank route here. And you're done that, so how about we go get some more truffles. And we can remove a road, which is fine. And we'll go up here and probably put a thingy, a chateau there. Well, keep that trade post going, because it seems like the thing to do. Yeah! Man, are you kidding? We're the bestest of buds. I don't know why you want to keep me around, but it's nice. I appreciate it. All right, we got that set up so we can establish a trade with Buenos Aires, and that should... Well, Buenos Aires would be the correct way to put that, I think. I don't know. Chateau. Uh, yeah, you're telling me a chateau there, and I don't necessarily disagree. I'm just worried about my... Well, you know what? No, screw it. I'm not worried about the economy. All right. So that's definitely the end of Venice. Got a very nice spot. I mean, really, you can get access through two, two squares, two hexes to get into Venice. That is genius when it comes to defense. I'm very jealous of their location. Uh, we'll get, we're just going to go. Bleh. <laughs> words, man, use your words. We're going to build a circus. <laughs> to make sure my people stay happy. Which should time nicely with um, the Coliseum in Orleans. We can see we're at zero happiness now. So we'll get that done in a couple of turns, bring that back up to a positive number. And then as it goes down, as it is want to do, it'll come back up with the Circus in Troyes. So, yay. And I think tours can actually have a circus as well. Well, maybe not. I don't know if you can have cows in a circus. I can't imagine that would be an entertaining circus. 
Horses, they do things. You know, elephants, they absolutely do things. Um, cows, they kind of sit there and moo. I don't know if that would be an entertaining circus. Granted, it's been a long time since I've been to a circus, so, you know, don't count me as some sort of circus expert. Panama City seeks investors. Uh, can we, well, that, I mean, that, can we get over there? I hope we can. Just want to see what's up there. Let's take a look at the Venetian military. We've got spearmen, crossbowmen, and a warrior for some reason. Perhaps they don't have a source of iron? But they were giving us iron. So I'm not sure why that is the way it is. Um, yeah, we really should come over here and help Buenos Aires with their barbarian problems. So let's go, lads. Help out the allies. No, not sure why I used a, a vaguely British accent for that, because I'm French. Not about to use my French accent, though. Some people might consider that racist. Although, I guess, to be fair, I've used my German accent, and I know I've got German viewers, so... Still not going to do it. Uh, okay, what do we got? We got a market going on in Doers. That'll work. Yeah, we'll work together. Our golden age is coming to an end, which is, a, you know, it's a sad day when that happens. Yep. Oh, all right. So we got a great merchant. So, uh, the last time I used one of those was with Venice. So these these suckers work completely differently. The unit is inside a city state's territory that you are not at war with. This. Order will have the great merchant conduct a trade mission, giving you a large amount of gold and improving relations with the city-state. Hmm. Or we could use it to do what I'm really thinking of doing, and that's increasing the customs house, or using a customs house, which will make this a plus five instead of a plus two. Was my math right? Yeah! Right on! Okay. And what are we going to build in Orleans? We are going to build, I guess, a university. Orleans could do with a university. That's going to get expensive. We need the science, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll just go with an amphitheater. Because I know we're going to have great writers to, to fill that with. Right? Like, it's going to take us a while, but we're going to get there. Yeah. I guess we could start tossing people in. Sort of specialize the cities a bit, but, um, well, you know me, we're going to do that next time, and then we're not going to do it. <laughs> I know, I'm horrible. Yeah, but it seems weird that, that you're not allowed into France, so how about that? That'll work, right? I guess I could have got a bit more money out of that because I was offering the open borders too, but... Yeah, we'll keep the research... Oh, we got a new research agreement with you. It's great! All these research agreements coming together. It should help us catapult ourselves technologically into a new and exciting age. Okay, so one thing we're going to have to do right away. Yay, increasing stuff with them. Okay, we're going to keep that going. I wonder if we can get the Ottomans into this, too. Uh, defensive Pact? Okay, cool. And then, while we're at it, we might as well... 
Can't believe you've heard tales of my supreme military. That makes me think conquering you would be pretty simple, actually. Do we want to go with the workshop now, or do we want to go with the bank? We're going to go with the workshop now. We got banks coming up in Paris, which will help our economy a little bit. And that's all of Venice, so they wouldn't be too hard to conquer, methinks. Um, now let's go and get the cows. I think that sounds like a good idea. The caravan here. Right, I gotta get another caravan out of Lyon. Which won't take that long. Hopefully that car alarm isn't getting picked up. If it is, you know, apologies, but some things are outside of my control, so... This is just basically how life goes. Okay, grants me a technology boost, which should pretty much finish off gunpowder, so I'm excited about that. Let's head our scout down this yonder direction. It's me using some good English skills there. Uh, you're telling me Orleans needs a farm, but that land's not good for farming. All right, let me just take a look at this city for a moment. Give me my citizen management here. Like, why? Why would we build another farm there? Like, freaking... I guess we could pull this over. And then we could take one of them off and put him there. And that will definitely help with the whole farming thing. So we could do that and start making some more money or even do that and get some more production. Wow. That's, that's a pretty good jump in monetary gains. If we go like that. How is that gonna, well, really though, five, Seven. We'll take the money. And with that farm moving to Venice, I don't think we need... Or Orleans. Venice, wow. That's getting well ahead of myself. I don't think we really need to um, get another farm going. So we're good there. Uh, so now... Is there any... There's a plantation up there. So what we'll do is we'll go up here, put a chateau, and then move that farm. We can take you and put you over here and build a chateau and move the farm. Yeah. Yeah! This is all coming together. And we're two happy turns away from getting gunpowder, which is just great. But, uh, yeah, I can definitely say I am going to miss... Yep, there you go. Uh, I'm going to miss the Foreign Legion. Those were, those were great infantry units to be using, uh mid late early late game i don't know how you would define it it gets all into like a churchill description of this isn't the beginning of the or this isn't the end this isn't even the beginning of the end but it's the end of the beginning or something like that yeah we'll keep it going oh jeez, man there it goes again Today. all right well we got gunpowder done uh, next up, optics seem like a really good idea. Of course, chemistry is incredibly tempting because cannons, like, why would you not want them? Uh, opera houses, pretty good, though. We can get great works of music going, which is going to be incredibly helpful. Um, along with, you know, the Sistine Chapel, which has probably already been built or is being built as we speak. And then a musician's guild, which will help with the opera house. 
Uh, machinery would be good. Faster movement on roads, the crossbowmen and the ironworks, which will take us to things like zoos and printing presses and global theaters and, and things like that. But I think, for now, optics might not be a bad idea. It's going to take us a turn. Uh, we'll get a national college built in Paris, though. That, that is for certain. And we'll get a, a chateau going there. So, I mean, I've got to say, the Chateau's really helpful. Yeah, we're all friends, man, except for the Japanese, I'm assuming. I would, I would hope. The Japanese are not as popular as me. They're kind of my current rivals, and they are getting ahead. Yay, optics. So now we could go with compass. Get ourselves from get ourselves some galleasses there and a harbor. But again, we don't uh, fishing boat yield. That's gonna be nice. Uh, an additional trade route. Extends the range of sea trade routes, which isn't bad. We don't have any buddy to actually trade sea wise. Sea trade what? We don't, have any, we don't have anybody to trade over the water with. We can take care of all of our trade over land for now, which is fine. Uh, the only place we can't really reach is Venice, but I doubt we'd be able to reach them if we just got a compass. Anyway, we'd have to, you know, make it further along the, um, the tech tree to actually get there. So I'm thinking, I mean, acoustics would be good, but machinery is actually going to be useful. So we'll take that route. And how much is that going to cost? 70 gold. We almost make that in a turn. So two turns, we've got that paid off. And now we've got an actual reliable food source for leans out in the sea, which is important. The red fort has been built in a faraway land. OK. Just fleshing out the last little bit of the map. We'll get that guy going. One more turn for our next camel, which is superb. And I think once that camel's done, we'll get it set up on its trade route and end the video there. Because why not? Somewhere up here, I would imagine. Ah, so the Venetians have already expanded with the acquisition of Shakoya there. So that's a thing. Where's Chur anyway? Or Ur? Where's Ur? It's got to be somewhere up here. I would guess somewhere. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's where Panama City is. Yeah, that, well, that isn't really a useful spot. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll get a bank going there. We've got a new caravan to go someplace that's going to make us money that isn't Japanese. So, Tikal. There we go. It looks like the Japanese have a city down there that we're going to run into sooner than later. Before chopping down those woods, we're going to get a mine up there. And then I think we will chop down those trees and, and get a mine going across the way. But uh, yeah, that seems like a good place to end the video. Next turn, we'll obviously start clearing out these barbarian camps, making Buenos Aires like us even more. And continuing with the uh, rather slow rise of France. In fact, it's really more of a petering out. But you know what? We can adjust that and we can... Change the course of history and make France the truly great nation that we all know that it can be. So thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. 
Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you next time.